from the Dixie Fieldhouse, historical record. Be careful what you wish for. To honor the South is tricky. On one hand, you support a region of artists, soldiers, and statesmen. On the other, you bear the nation's deepest and darkest sins. In our prose, we neither glorify the oppressors nor forget what they've done. Instead, we stand on the shoulders of the past and look our ancestors in the eyes. If character is destiny, then the arc of history is proven ours. Dr. King promised us justice, but warned that the journey is arduous. And yet, we came together long before the government decreed it so. The American South, our food, our songs, and our tales are beautifully African, distinctly European, and natively American. When I fly the flag of the state of Tennessee, that's what that means to me. Who are the people? Mr. Jefferson, does this include us all? I take you back now to the symbols. Let us sing the song. Let us occasionally marvel at antebellum design will throw those flags that divide us away. If it doesn't stand for all of us, it doesn't stand for any of us. Nowhere in the Southeastern Conference is this more relevant than at Ole Miss, the University of Mississippi. Public universities in the modern era strive for inclusivity and monitor closely a public image. Perhaps this means we remove a name from a building. Perhaps it means we halt a tradition. Does it mean a heritage of half a continent is erased? Are the political leaders we learned about in school who named the places on our maps monsters? Or are they men? Men who sin and fall short of the glory of God. Men who let modern customs blind them to suffering. But they're still our fathers. And just like we grow from our youth, our nation is also mature. But I will celebrate the melting pot. I'll learn from Frederick Douglass, I'll let the spirit of Sequoia inspire me, and I'll fight those who try to take away our images. Have you ever seen Florida State? Before every home game, Chief Osceola rides his horse to midfield with a flaming spear. It is truly one of the most powerful pieces of cultural imagery performed in the world. To believe that celebrates oppression is self-defeating. And if we wipe the slate clean of any Native American lore, our children will suffer. To follow the Cherokee is to care for the earth, and we need that now more than ever. So when the Seminole wind blows through, follow it. Never be ashamed 